back again and i'm bringing you guys another one of my favorite anime slash manga characters and that's the feisty the bold brave ippo makanuchi yeah gotta love ippo uh ippo of course is the main protagonist from the manga and anime series hajim no ippo which translates basically fighting spirit in english uh ippo is pretty much in a way like us an average guy you know who was bullied and shy at some times and you know that finally let himself free he found a a an activity that he can let himself go at and that's boxing uh he is a member of the Kamogawa gym uh and he pretty much fights in the featherweight division of the gym uh he really really his fighting style is pretty much based kind of like on boxers like Mike Tyson you know he has that very aggressive fighting style uh he pretty much guys uses his stance is what's called the peekaboo peekaboo uh peekaboo style defense or turtle you know basically you keep your basically you keep your both hands up across your face it's it's pretty much like that um ipo for his size packs a wallop for his size he packs i mean ipo's only five foot five he's like three inches taller than me and he packs some impressive explosive power behind every punch uh like i'm talking like he has like pretty much heavy blows there are three signature punches that are like rib cracking liver blows for example he has the gazelle punch he has the dipsy roll uh and he you know and you know he he has knocked out a lot of people with a lot of those those punches uh ipo lives with his mom he lived with his mom and he helps his mom when he's not battling boxing uh with the family charter boat uh fishing business pretty much this job has pretty much helped him in his lower body you know as well uh, as an effective boxer you know and like i said fate came his way when uh takamura seen you know ipo and he beat up the bullies you know takamura is the heavyweight boxer of his gym and uh he pretty much came in ipo was impressed of what he saw and he tried he took it upon himself to try boxing he went pro became champ you know he be, uh the the group there's the coaches the the other members of his gym they love ipo um though ipo uh is shy you know when he's around the rest of them you know the rest of his his gang his his fellow boxers he's just like one of the guys you know he really he's just so easy to get to know but like i said his punches are model the one thing about uh hajimo no ipo a lot of it's a boxing anime it's not it has nothing to do with chi moves and like street fighter or anything like that if you love boxing you're gonna love this the manga or the the anime um you see a lot of references to famous boxers from the past mike tyson floyd patterson jack dempsey people like that you you really get to see a lot of that they always are talking about how boxes remind them of a certain boxer like there's, there's this boxer i'm forgetting his name right now 
he had a, a boxing, st he had a punch, the, the flicker jab, where you basically, it looks like you're just flicking, but he did it so well, it was hard for Ipo to get by him, but he finally started to do, he started to do the dipsy roll and getting under him and getting in. Ipo, once Ipo gets in, it's over. Forget it. Ipo just can't, will just, just tear your insides up. Once he gets inside, that's, that's pretty much the, the effects of trying to pr figure out Ipo's weaknesses when he's boxing is keep him outside because once he gets inside, it's over. Um, Ipo has a nickname actually. Uh, they called him God of Wind actually. Be uh, because of the the his powerful blows that he gives you. You know he, I'm I'm serious guys. If you ever seen the manga or read the manga or the animes, you will see how hard this guy hits. You know he hits so hard, he's almost hitting like a heavyweight. A heavyweight. He he hits so hard. I guess you can kind of say Ipo is kind of like Manny Pacquiao in a way. You know he. But you know, Pacquiao looks small and for his size, but he hits so hard. Or Floyd Mayweather, you know, they, they are short in stature, but they hit like heavyweights. And that's Ipo. You know, he will just eat your insides up if you let him get in close. Uh, you know, in the manga, Ipo had a... I mean, in the the uh, in the uh, in the anime, I should say, Ipo had his professional boxing matches. His current was, I think, twenty four matches, and he only lost one of those and twenty three wins. And all those twenty three wins came from knockout. You know, he lost to the the champ. Of the Japanese featherweight title, um, EJ da Dea, uh, and uh, they, and that that character lost to the world champ uh, Ricardo Martinez uh, for the world title, uh, and Ipo decided to pretty much uh, take up the cause where. Uh, Ija left off and challenged Ricardo for the the WBA featherweight championship. Uh, but Ipo is just one of those characters you love. You, he's kind of an underdog, but you when you when you got an underdog like Ipo, you root for him. You know what I'm saying? You root for this guy. Every fight I've seen him in, it looked like almost to the point. Where let, let me put it like this: It looks like his opponents are better than him. His opponents pretty much are most time better equipped because he hasn't been boxing too long, and they have. But then he has that fighting spirit, that that warrior spirit that just invokes him, and then Ipo just uses that and to will himself to win this battle, whatever match he's in. And I've seen Ipo to the point where he's nearly been knocked out but he's still able to fight like he, he's kind of unconscious but his fighting spirit won't let him fall you know but most of the time once his opponents feel what this this guy is packing in terms of punch punching power they take him very seriously they don't look at him as just a a uh just another easy opponent in a way but i would never say Ipo's easy uh but like i said guys if you're into boxing you love that you love the sport you know you're gonna love uh haji no Ipo or fighting spirit you know it's just a good good anime manga that just tells the tale of a kid that was bullied you know he finally fate knocked on his door and what fate have in store for him a pair of boxing gloves and he rode that he rode 
what fate gave him and he made it his own and that's pretty much all i have to say about epo so thanks again guys for listening to me once again uh talk about characters why i like them uh stay tuned next week when i bring you two more characters you never know who i'll bring but the one thing i will promise you guys you will enjoy them you guys take it easy